Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian and I'm a structural engineer. And uh, last video I spoke about how we can think and design better structures and trying to understand them better. And here I want to cover what I consider to be a way of doing this, which is thinking about the primary colours of structure. I showed this in my last video, which is, I said really, structural design, as opposed to structural analysis, is this situation. If structural analysis is sizing a beam, structural design is choosing to have a beam in the first place, or choosing to have something else to carry the forces safely. So why am I calling this primary colours of structures? I think this is a very helpful way to think about things. Just as we have actual limited number of primary colours, we can mix those into an infinite number of colours and produce an infinite number of paintings or images. Just because there are a limited number of primary colours does not mean we have a limited number of images. So I think that's very much the same way to think about structures. There's certain types of structures, but we can combine them into infinite possibilities to create infinite structural systems. And so if we sort of go through them in increasing order of complexity, we would have a cable that can only carry tension, and you can see the direction it's carrying the tension in. You have the arch, the column, the truss, the beam, which is essentially a filled-in truss, and the frame. Now, there are lots of other types you could call a dome, a shell, and this isn't about getting into the specifics so much as really this is a concept. We do have a limited number of structural types, but we can combine them into an infinite number of possibilities going forward. So I want to make sure we think of that distinctly and hopefully open up our thinking to the possibilities that we have. Just a very quick project example. Um, this was a design idea for doing a very thin stone bench. Solid stone, but spanning like a beam, and the stone doesn't carry tension very well. So at this sort of stage, this is where these are my sketches. We're talking, myself and the designer, about options of how we might be carrying the forces, how we might be combining structural types, bringing in some tension, bringing in some materials, doing some sketches on how the form might change, how we might be uh, integrating in ways of ma managing the support conditions and its behavior. Notice no analysis here, that we'll get to that, but this is the stage of concept, design, thinking. Now we're getting into the sort of details of changing form, and then fundamental analysis. And again, I am not belittling this. This is important and critical. But you do this once you've made your system decisions. Both are important. And I think the first one, making those decisions, doesn't get enough discussion. We actually combined, this is some physical testing in our, our testing lab, we combined uh, one of the oldest structural materials, stone, with one of the newest, which is uh, GFRP, glass fibre reinforced plastic rods, putting them together in, as a composite, really an old and new compression and tension to work together to create a truly wonderful, thin stone bench. We called it Hyper Thin. So it was a very enjoyable project. W turned out wonderfully. And, and even expressed some of the structural form underneath it. So I want to leave you again with this image, this really important part here where we're making decisions to carry forces safely and choosing also where those forces may come from at an early stage such that it defines how the rest of the process continues.